and wrenches for Motion Raceworks. What are they? What do you use them for? And do you need them? We'll answer all those things in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is a really cool set of AN wrenches from Motion Raceworks made from billet aluminum and you can just tell the quality when you hold it in your hand and when you look up close. Now we're going to get up close with these but first let's talk about a few things. Now what are AN wrenches? Well quickly we have AN fittings most of the time we see this on race cars, on high performance cars, uh, things like that. Also airplanes. In fact that's where a lot of this came from. We'll dig into that deeper here in one moment as well. But what do we typically do right now when we come across these AN fittings and we don't have an AN wrench? Well, we can use our regular wrench or we can break out. Uh, we can break out the crescent wrench or the adjustable wrench and really put it to it. And then what you're going to get, you're going to end up getting something that looks like this, where now your pretty fittings are not so pretty anymore and you're starting to eat through the anodization. So you're losing that beauty that you originally had and quite frankly you could get to the point where you've just damaged the fastener enough or damaged the fitting enough where it can't be used anymore. So we take out our favorite uh, masking tape or electrical tape and we take the jaws of our adjustable wrench and there now we're good to go and we can use that for one use and uh, then we're done. So that's going to give us a little protection, but let's face it, that's not long lasting and that doesn't always work well, as well as if you got a, a regular spanner wrench or a regular open end wrench and you've got a tight fit by the time you put two layers of masking tape, one on each side, that's going to be too close of a tolerance and it's going to either burr it up or put goo all over it, what have you. It's just not a good fit. So that's where these AN wrenches come into play. Let's dive in, take a closer look at these. Let's see why it says Jack Stan Jimmy on it. Then after we take a look at all the details, we'll come back and wrap it up with price and our thoughts on these. So this is the Jack Stan Jimmy billet gold anodized AN wrench set. So you get four wrenches. Uh, you get obviously two sizes on each wrench and it goes everywhere from a dash three AN all the way up to a dash 20 AN wrench size. Really, it's not a wrench size, it's really a size that pertains uh, to the AN fittings. Now, let's talk about the AN fitting before we talk about the wrenches because this kind of sets standard uh, as to what we're talking about. When we're talking about AN wrenches, we're talking about AN fittings. You wouldn't need an AN wrench if you didn't have AN fittings. Where do the AN fittings come from and what does the name even mean? Well. The AN actually comes from World War II when the Army and the Navy got together and decided on some specifications on how they should connect rigid lines, so uh, stainless steel, aluminum, maybe even copper, and connect it to flexible lines. And they needed a fitting to do that, and they came up with the 37 degree flare. So. We should have a 37 degree flare right there on the male side and a 37 degree female side so that meshes together. And by the way, when you put these together, there should be no thread sealant, there should be no Teflon tape or anything else. But anyway, and to connect those, these are AN fittings. So the Army and the Navy got together and the AN simply means Army and Navy. That's all it means. Nothing else, nothing aluminum, nothing, anything else other than Army, Navy. And in fact, this blue-red combination was something that was anodized back then as well in World War II. Again, kind of signifying that joint venture between the Army and the Navy. So pretty cool history there on the AN fitting. So that's why we have AN fittings. And quite frankly, it's gone back that far and they're still being used today. Most of the time you see these on high performance applications because let's face it, because it looks cool. And because, um, you know, when you're running custom applications and running line sets everywhere, it just looks better that way and it's an easy way to actually put those things together and for them to seal and last. So let's take a look, now that we know what an AN fitting is, now we have AN wrenches that will pertain to these fittings. Well, I'll give you a little hint. 
and we'll get into this topic a little bit deeper as well. When they made these fittings, we weren't using metric fittings or metric bolts and metric nuts on any airplanes. So I will tell you all of these fitting uh, measurements should be in SAE or standard uh, inch fragments. That's not the case in all of it. And again, we'll get into that in just a moment. So let's jump back into the wrenches. Sorry to confuse you, but we've had a little history lesson on AN fittings. Uh, and now we know that these sizes here pertain to those AN fittings. But let's take a deeper look at these wrenches. One cool thing about these wrenches are these embedded magnets in here because AN wrenches are made from aluminum. They're made for, from aluminum so that we're not scarring these aluminum fittings when we're putting those AN fittings together because too much pressure from a regular wrench and you're going to see the scarring. And I'll show you that here in a moment as well. So anyway, a cool thing about these anodized aluminum wrenches is the fact that they have these magnets built in because it allows us to easily stack these together. Also allows us to easily put these on a metal pegboard or to stick these to a toolbox or to stick them to the face of the toolbox or maybe there's one in particular wrench you use all the time and you can have that right there on the lid of your toolbox. So easily magnetize that to anything that's ferrous and be able to have that aluminum wrench at your ready as you want. But again, stack really, really nice and they kind of self-center themselves as well. Let's take a deeper look at the wrench itself. And they've done some really good quality stuff. Number one, this is a billet piece of aluminum. That this is then, I'm sure it's probably a multi-axis CNC machine that's actually cutting all this out. Uh, we also have some reliefs here, right here in the corners. What it's doing, it's relieving right where it meets the corner where the corner of that fastener meets the corner of the wrench. And when you apply pressure, it keeps from all the pressure being applied right there on the corner of the fastener and rounding that fastener off. So when you are using a wrench like this, make sure it's seated all the way against that. And then that relief is gonna do its job and put all the pressure on the side profile of this wrench and on the flats of the fastener. So back to the wrench, love to see those reliefs cut right there. Uh, we also get some nice chamfering here. So it's not just a 90 degree, we get a little bit of a relief cut right there. So it gives it a little bit, a bit of a rounding effect, nice smooth effect, doesn't really cut at you or anything else. And uh, we get that all the way around the wrench. And the anodizing looks great on these as well. Uh, and then on the, uh, on the 1012 here, we get a bottle opener as well. and that ties back into uh, Jack Stan Jimmy. If you don't know who Jack Stan Jimmy is, he's a part of the Cletus McFarlane crew uh, and it's James Tall. Uh, he's got a pretty large following on Instagram and uh, of course Cletus McFarlane's got millions of subscribers on YouTube and they do a great job. But anyway, uh, James Tall is a member of that crew and Motion Race Works has now made a, a set of wrenches that uh, honor him, if you will. So uh, anyway, so built-in bottle opener on the 1012, and all of these wrenches pretty much mimic the same thing other than the, uh, the bottle opener. Uh, we get a recession in each one. Uh, we get the Motion Race Works logo on one side, the Jackson and Jimmy on the other, and the embedded magnets, which again, are equal distance on every single one of them, so they easily self-center uh, when you put these on top of one another. Now let's bring into frame here uh, some different fittings, some old school fittings here. And let's bring in some new good old Amazon fittings. Bring some of these in here. So we've got some various fittings here that are all considered to be A-N fittings. So good old Army Navy fittings here. We've got some old, uh, I believe most some of these are Earl's fittings, some XRP, some AeroQuip. Uh, we've got a little bit of all. Pretty cool box here of old AN fittings here. Looks like they've been sitting on the shelf for maybe a couple of decades even. Our buddy over at uh, Rob's Auto Restorations let us use this for our video. Eh, who knows, maybe he'll give them to us. Maybe we can do some trading. Anyway, so we've got some various AN fittings. Uh, we've got obviously some USA made Earl's 
slash Holly. So most of your Earl stuff usually say Holly on it as well. Yeah, Holly Performance. Uh, so most of that stuff is USA made. And then we've got some of your, you know, Amazon's best, if you will, uh, where you can buy these things a lot cheaper. But I want to show you some of the differences here. And I've even seen negative reviews correlating to some of these fittings based off of not knowing what you're buying. And that's kind of sad. So when you're buying an AN Rich, there's really not much saying that this number 10 AN Rich or this dash 10 AN Rich needs to correlate to some certain size. It does if you do your research, but again, I'm just going to make a point here. I bought this fitting right off of Amazon and it is a dash 10 AN fitting. Well, a dash 10 should fit an a dash 10 and rich and you'll see here we've got way too much slop here uh, to be using that wrench on that fitting and just to make sure you see how much gap we have there as well and there and that's a dash 10 and fitting now if I go to this one here that's obviously a dash 8 so if I go to my dash eight wrench, that fits that perfectly. If I go over here to the dash eight, it fits that perfectly. Well, let's go back here and let's see if this is a dash eight. No, it doesn't fit on there. So it's not a dash eight fitting either. So maybe I misordered it and ordered it a dash eight AN, but still it does not fit that nut. My point is, a lot of these are metric that you get on Amazon. They are not SAE sizes. When, the, as I mentioned earlier, when the Army Navy came up with these specifications, we were not using metric fasteners in the US. We were using SAE fasteners in the US and that's where they came up with their sizes from. So when you're buying US AN fittings, they correlate to the original and sizes, which again, this dash eight fits that perfectly, fits this perfectly, but when I go to this one, does not fit that one. However, if I go to the other side, it does fit. So you're going to get those that it's going to fit some of the nuts and not fit some of the others. And then you're going to get some like this one here, where the dash eight is way too big. The dash six does not fit on there. So again, there is no AN wrench that's fitting to that or correlates to that. So you've got to go to sizes and either go to a flare wrench, which that's an 18. So I could go to a flare wrench or I could go to just a standard open end wrench. But then you're taking the risk of actually scarring these. Because if you'll look, these AN wrenches are quite a bit thicker than your standard wrench here. So that's going to give you more surface area to keep from and that's going to help keep uh, the wrench from actually scarring the face of these fittings. Understand what you're buying when you're buying your fittings before you talk about the wrenches not fitting them. All these wrenches fit these American made unions or American made AN fittings. Now there are some examples uh, where you'll see like uh, I believe this nut right here. Let's take a look here. I believe this is a 10. So yeah, the 10 fits here. And the 10 fits that nut. But we're actually not fitting on that nut. Now I don't understand that one. Uh, and the 12 is obviously way too big. So it fits two of these, which these are actually two different sizes. But if it's that perfect, oh no, it doesn't fit that perfect. Wow, that's not a 10 and it's not an eight, but yet the 10 fits that perfectly. So there's another oddball one. So you really have to watch what you're buying. I believe this was an arrow quip, if I'm not mistaken. Let's pull another arrow quip out of here and see if that one fits one of our AN tools. Yep, that fits the 10 just fine. So there's going to be some oddball stuff that, again, if you're not buying quality stuff, 
They may not fit your AN fittings, but that's not because your AN wrenches are bad, per se. That's because you've gotten metric fasteners. So that looks like that's probably a 24 millimeter. Anyway, just wanted to point that out uh, with your AN fittings. Make sure you're getting USA made quality AN fittings. And uh, these wrenches, these motion rate race work wrenches, they are really exceptional quality here. Very impressed with this. The great looking wrenches, they're going to last a long time because of how much beef is in these. Uh, made from billet aluminum, so they should be strong. They should also last, and let's face it, you're not trying to put crazy amount of torque on these aluminum fittings. These AN fittings are not meant to be way over torque. They're made to put a little bit of lube on the threads, put these things together, put a little bit of lube on the flare, and after you put them together, they should seal quite fine. Just make sure that you're not trying to mate this to a 45 degree flare. Make sure you're making sure that your female and male are both 37 degree flares like the original AN fitting was meant to work with. This is a really cool set of AN wrenches. Do you need them? Probably not. Can you get by with tightening fittings without a set of AN wrenches? Probably. You know, it's not something that you should be putting a ton of torque on. But if you need a set of wrenches that you don't want to scar up your AN fittings, by all means, buy a set of AN wrenches. And quite frankly, these are the coolest set that we've seen. And they make a lot of sense, especially with the magnets built in, because now storing these away, they easily go back together like they're supposed to. And now we can put that in our toolbox. We can keep them stacked together. We can separate them, stick them on the front of the toolbox, stick them under the lid of the toolbox whatever it just makes a ton of sense nice broad face on these we love the relief cuts in them they should be able to last the time that you need and never have to buy a set of an riches again other than maybe you want two sets especially when you're having to hold one side and tighten with the other when you don't always have a vice handy with some soft jaws on it 159 dollars right now i think normally they're like 179 uh, you can find them on motionraceworks.com. We'll put a link in the description. Again, really nice set of wrenches. Make sure you check it out. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Sorry about my voice. Hopefully, it'll get better in the next couple of days. Have a great day, and keep smiling.